another addition strategies video. Well, this video is addition strategies for first graders. If you want to learn the basic addition, I have earlier addition videos for beginning first graders. This addition strategy section of the, um, these set of addition strategies videos are a little more advanced and they're to help you to figure out certain different strategies to do mental math and certain tricks and tips to help you with addition. Anyway, let's get to this lesson. With this one, this is addition strategies and we're going to call this doubles plus one and doubles minus one. In my previous videos, I mentioned adding doubles. For example, you had a 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. We have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. We have 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 5 plus 5 equal to 10. And so on and so on. But in this one, we're going to do doubles plus 1 or doubles minus 1. So let's get to this example. What if we have something like a 2 plus 3? And we want to find what that is. Well, we know there's a doubles of a 2 and a 2, which is equal to 4. And since 3 is just 1 more than 2, you can look at it as this. 2 plus 2 is the 4, and this 1 extra 1 is going to make it 5. Because this is 3 here, and this is 2. So here's a double, and here's the 1, which is part of that 3. It's going to make 5. These doubles, 4, the 1, 5. So this is a, a little strategic way to just quickly do 2 plus 3 without even counting on your fingers or anything. You just think of the double and a plus one. Uh, there's another way you can look at it. Let's say, for example, you have a, a three plus two, right? We know it's going to be five already, but let's just take a look at it. Well, we can look at the doubles of a three and a three, which is six. But in this case, we have a three and a two. So that three is one less. So here's a doubles and a minus one. So I know doubles, I know a double three is six. Three and three, six. So I know that already. So if we're going to minus one, that six minus one down is going to be five. So, the, so when I look at a three plus two, I know it's a double minus one. It's a double of three minus the one, which brings it down to two. So I know it's going to be a six minus the one, which is going to be a five. These are just little techniques, just little tricks to help us do addition faster and in our head without even writing. So let's look at a 3 plus 4, for example. I can look at it as a, a 3 and a 3. I know that's going to be 6. And then since this is 4, it's one more, so I know it's going to be 7. So just looking at this 3 plus 4, I know I can get a little double out of it, which is going to be 6. And since this is 4, it's just one more than the 3, I know it's going to be 7. So it's going to be 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Another way you can look at it, you can look at it as a doubles minus 1. So again, 3 plus 4, you can look at it as a 4 and 4 double, and you're going to minus the 1 to make it 3. So I know 4 and 4 is 8, but this 4 is going to, be, instead of being a 4, it's going to be a 3. So it, since it's a minus 1 here, I know it's going to be an 8 minus 1, which is 7. So you can look at it both ways. You can look at it as a double plus 1 to find the 7. You can look at it as a 3 and 3 plus an extra 1 to find 
to have an answer seven, or you can look at it as a four and four, and just minus one, which is going to take us down to seven. Whichever way you look at it. But this is just the doubles plus one or doubles minus one strategy when we do addition. So that's just a technique. And that's it. Bye.